I really enjoy LCL and I, and I think this school is like a really good school. I've gotten a lot of amazing opportunities here. There's like a UC program, Foundation Club, AVID. There's um, many more programs here that like a lot of students can't even get at other schools. I'm of Asian descent, specifically Burmese, with a little bit of Chinese in my family side. Growing up, I really didn't have anyone to talk to, specifically because my parents were out working and then me being the only child, I only had myself. The only thing I had to my name was a computer, which I was on just studying uh, what I wanted to be in life and just starting from a young age. And that's where um, I discovered my kind of passion right now, which was YouTube. I was hooked on YouTube, learning all the video editing, uh, YouTube thumbnail making, graphic arts, uh, very inspired me to take on kind of a career path there. Advice I have for freshmen specifically is take care of yourself. Take everything in that your teacher tells you to do and just learn from them because they were once in your position and you don't know what may be coming in your life. So definitely take it slow and learn uh, everything that surrounds you and just keep on building. Elsie Allen has 100% um, influenced me. The various teachers that I met, like Mr. Carbo, Mr. Petty, uh, Mr. Gibson, were the first ones who really, really pushed me. And these teachers were the ones that sort of saw the potential that I had, recognized that um, I was willing to put in the work, and sort of pushed me and nudged me towards more ambitious goals, goals that I never knew existed, really. I'm a junior at Stanford University, and I'm studying computer science. Going to a school like Stanford, the tuition is $75,000 a year. There's quite a bit of uh, out-of-pocket expenses that my parents have to cover. I've uh, received numerous scholarships from the foundation. Pretty Every single year I've received a scholarship. These scholarships definitely, they add up and they offer that sort of cushion. I came to L.C. Allen my sophomore year of high school. My mom graduated from here in 1998. I'm gonna be honest, I almost dreaded it because I knew L.C. Allen had a reputation, but I didn't have a choice. So I came and I just fell into the wrong crowd. I was definitely one of those kids that I ditched school a lot. The teachers were always extremely supportive. I would not be alive or here today if they didn't help me and care about my well-being. They gave me the three probably best years of my life because of the support that I got from this school. I have my dream job. I'm a restorative justice specialist with the Nevada Unified School District and it's a heavy job. <laughs> We're intervening in student and um, staff conflict at all times. I know that if I didn't go to Elsie Allen, I would not be where I am today. When I first started, my brother, um, his, uh, he, his condition of epilepsy came back again. And it was my freshman year, so that was a very hard transition for me. And Mr. Lieberman and Mr. Thornhill really helped me get through it. They, they really pushed me forward, and if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't have graduated. They just wouldn't let me give up. And as, as much as I wanted to, they just wouldn't let me, and, and I thank them for that a lot. Ms. Horn, she was really passionate about her students. She made everything so fun and engaging. Like we were reading Shakespeare and I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. I've always loved to write, but I never thought of it as like a career or or something that I would do along in my lines. I always thought I'd do something like with a business or with hair or makeup or something. Like I never thought in my life that I would choose English as my career. I want to go to a four year and um, I want to study in the medical field. I want to be a pediatrician. I think the biggest advice I'd give is to always respect your dreams. So I know it's easy, it's easy to get really comfortable, have a sense of urgency. We're all here because Elsie Allen is an underserved campus with amazing students that aren't given the same opportunities as those from other schools. Every donation and scholarship given or program funded by this foundation and our donors, because of the resources that are provided with the money given to the foundation, you're able to make sure that they get what they need to be successful.